Welcome to the third module of the poem Wind. Some interesting thing about the poem. The poem was actually written in Tamil and translated to English. Let me read it in Tamil. Kaatru menmayaga varungal janalgalin adaippugalai udaikka vendam kaagidangalai sidara vendam puthagangalai alamariyil veesa vendam ange neengal enna seidirgal endru paarungal neengal anaithiyum keele veendirgal neengal puthagangalin pakkangalai kirithu vittirgal நீங்கள் மீண்டும் மழை கொண்டு வந்தீர்கள் பலவீன மாணவர்களுக்கு வேடிக்கை பார்ப்பதில் நீங்கள் மிதவும் புத்திசாலி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் ரைட் நவ் லெட் இஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் த தீம் ஆஃப் த பாம் த பாம் டெபிக்ஸ் த அட்டர்லி எனாமஸ் பவர் ஆஃப் விண்ட் இன் த வேர்ல்ட் அண்ட் ஹவு இட் ஹேஸ் த பொட்டென்ஷியல் ஆஃப் பீங் போத் ஏ டிஸ்ட்ராயர் அண்ட் ஏ கிரியேட்டர் த வீக் அண்ட் ஃப்ரெஜைல் கே நாட் வித் ஸ்டாண்ட் இட்ஸ் ஃப்யூரி த ஸ்ட்ராங் கேன் யூஸ் இட் டு தேர் அட்வான்டேஜ் The same is true of the adversities of life. Those who are weak easily break down and those who are strong take them in their stride and come out stronger. Therefore, our attitude to life and its trials and tribulations determines our response to them. Now, the next theme is the poem inspires us to face the challenges and hardships with courage, grit and firm determination. The wind destroys the weak things in its path. When troubles come in life, the weak people are affected more. If the structures in the path of the wind are weak, then the wind will destroy them. This shows that when troubles come in life, the weak are more affected. So the poet asks the readers to become strong. Make a pause and go through the new words in the poem. Now a recap of the poem. How does the poet ask the wind to come? The poet asks the wind to come softly. What all does the poet ask the wind not to do? The poet asks the wind not to break the shutters of the windows, not to scatter the papers and not to throw down the books on the shelf. And what does the poet uh, blame the wind for? The poet blames the wind for tearing the pages of the books, throwing down the books from the shelf, tearing the sorry, uh, bringing the rain again. does the poet say the wind is very clever at the poet says that the wind is very clever at poking fun at weaklings frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives and crumbling hearts what does the wind god we know the wind god we knows the weaklings from the stronger ones will the wind god do whatever we tell him no the wind god does not hear or will not hear what we tell him so what should we do to make friends with him we should build strong homes we should join the doors firmly we should firm the body we should make our hearts steadfast and then the wind will be friends with us what time of what type of flame does the wind blow out and what type of fire does it roar and flourish the wind blows out weak fires and the wind flourishes the strong fires so what does the wind symbolize the wind symbolizes the problems that a man has to face in his life if we want to uh, be if we will be strong we can face all the problems and make the problems as our friends to improve ourselves why has the wind been called god wind has been called god because like god he uses his power to win no the weak from the strong ones what does the wind symbolize in this poem the wind uh, the natural force wind is converted into a symbol in the context of human life the destructive wind symbolizes the hardships problems and obstructions in the life of people just as buildings have to face strong winds people have to encounter difficulties and obstacles in life so that is what the poet has done it converted the natural force wind into a simple of a simple in the context of human life okay expression crumbling lives crumbling hearts many lives are lost when wind breaks havoc the lives of the survivors are shattered too because their loved ones are dead and their homes and property are destroyed they are left with no hope in life 
so that is what is meant by crumpling lies and crumpling hearts next question it is for you to write you have to write it on your own values of life do the poet emphasize in the poem or do you the think the poem went is a didactic poem what moral values does it preach think over it it is a long answer question write in a page thank you so much